Good morning, boys and girls. This is Woodster Man, and this is video number two about the comment you were warned about. And this is what what's this is the Woodster Man practice blog right here, as you can see. And we are going to get right to it. Up here, I'm going to click on design. And it will take us to this section right here. This is your page elements. Okay, up here, there is something new. It is called comments. It's a new tab. It is new. Uh, stats is new. But we're, today we're going to discuss comments because I have a pet peeve. So, here is comments when I've click, clicked on it. This tells me lists every comment that I have had on this blog. So far, only one person has found it. Probably went to my profile and clicked on it. And if you look up here, this is published comments and this is spam. That is new. There is no spam uh, anywhere on this blog. Okay? And Google does a darn good job of identifying it. So what we're going to do is we are going to set up some parameters for this. And I'm going to show you what I have done. We hit settings. And here is our basic first page. Now I'm going to go to comments right here. And I'm going to outline the parameters that I want this blog from now on to do. The first thing I'm going to do is the default is anyone includes anonymous users who can comment. Well, I found out if you get rid of that, it's a real nice thing. So right here, I click on registered users, anyone with an ID. It can be from anywhere, but usually it's a Google ID. So I come down here, I leave all the rest of these. Now, you can uh, embed in below the post is what I've left this at. Woodsterman blog has a pop-up window. Uh, I like it for Woodsterman because if you use the pop-up window, the page does not have to reload after you leave that comment window. Whereas if you use it in the uh, embedded below post, you will see that that darn blog has to reload every time. In fact, I think I'll do that right now. I think I'll change that to a pop-up window. And then we won't have to worry about that later. The other thing that will get rid of the spammers is this comment moderation right here. Now, a lot of you have it. It's always on, okay? Always moderate. I usually have it at never. But I found out that if I have it at never, they will come into my uh, posts from like six months ago if it's got a hot title, like the one they keep hitting is sexy bungee jumpers or whatever it is it's it's a couple upside down naked hang, tied with their ankles with a bungee cord and all the arabs <laughs> keep hitting it they get tired of their goats i guess i don't know what it is but anyway to get rid of that uh i have it so you have to be moderated after and i change this to 10 days now Anyone who goes on to one of my posts, and it is older than 10 days, they cannot post without me okaying it. They can leave it, but I don't have to publish it. And that has gotten rid of all of the spam. I deleted probably 300 spams, spam comments from Woodsterman uh, about three months ago when Google first gave us this uh, comments tab and ever since then uh, I've done this to Woodsterman and I have not had one spam comment so down here save your settings okay and settings were successfully saved I'll come up here we'll click on view blog and here we are back again okay so now, if you go to make a comment, here's the comment window. Now, if you look, 
I get rid of that, and this page did not have to reload again. So that's why I like to use that. Otherwise, you're reloading the page time after time after time, and it gets, it gets tiresome for the viewer. So anyway, some of you with those word verifications and so forth, you really don't need them. And it will speed up the commenting process of people that visit your site, and I'll bet you'll see more comments left. That's it for this sermon, and it's probably the only sermon I will give because it is a pet peeve of mine. So we'll see you next time. I haven't made up my mind what it's going to be about, but this is number two, and uh, we'll see you on number three. Bye.